as a leader, as a shepherd of the principle, what you need to do is, is to stay on purpose every day, no matter what, if hell freezes over, I want to remind everybody, uh, get your uh, plane ticket, make your hotel reservation. If you haven't done it yet, it's hard to believe that December 7th is right around the corner for all of you to finish up the year strong and enter 2025 with a bang, an explosion in practice and growth and increase and expansion. And... I want everybody to understand that in the States, because I know there's people that I'm talking to that are from other countries on this CCC webinar, but in the, in the States, we are having an election year. So there's a, a lot, of, lot of stress, there's tension, and there's lack of focus. And before I begin, I wanna wish all of our um, Canadian clients, a uh, happy Thanksgiving. I know that you celebrated Thanksgiving in the beginning of this week and uh, hope you had a great, wonderful Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving to all of our Canadian friends. Anyway, so focusing is so important right now. We have to keep the main thing, the main thing. It's kind of like when you work out and you're on an exercise program every day and all of a sudden if you're hypothetically doing uh, cardio six days a week and then one day you miss it and then a couple weeks later you miss two days because you don't want to get out of bed and then seven weeks later before you know it you're doing it once or twice a week you start gaining weight you start decreasing in practice and you start getting tired and lazy and then everything even in your personal life and sometimes unfortunately in your family life goes haywire because we stop keeping the the main thing the main thing so there's a lot of things happening in the atmosphere the Bible says that we don't fight against flesh and blood, but we fight against principalities of darkness that control the atmosphere, social media, you know, the airwaves, whatever. The point is, is that if we have our head on the phone, seeing who is winning in the election on October 18th, and what the Democrats or what the Republicans are doing when you're trying to serve and save lives, there's a problem that you're having because it's major, major lack of focus. And honestly, myself, I don't want to get involved with all of that outside in of what's happening outside, I am going to vote I, what my heart and conscience says according to biblical principles. But having said that, we have to keep on purpose. We have to keep focus, and we cannot allow the outside in to affect us in our practice. Because when we start, it's like a little crack in the ceiling and a little drop comes in from the rain or in the roof rather, a little drop comes in and then more lack of keeping the main thing, the main thing, more lack of focus, more lack of purpose. And before you know it, a flood happens in the basement and we need, you need a new roof. Well, it's very subtle when those cracks begin. And before you know it, there's a flood. 
a flood of decrease, a flood of negativity, a flood of disunity, a flood of team members getting anxious and even angry and wanting to resign and then you have to hire more and so on and so forth. So as a leader, as a shepherd of the principle, what you need to do is, is to stay on purpose every day, no matter what, if hell freezes over, everyone that I have ever mentored in the last decades that has gotten off purpose, number one, or anybody that got out of school on purpose, and then they got off purpose, lack of proper focus, they decrease, and then they get depressed a lot of times, oppressed, and then the enemy just comes in like a roaring lion. We know he's got no teeth, but really messes with the mind, and then it's even hard, like Colossians says, to cast down all false imaginations, it's even hard to do that because we get fatigued, we get tired, we get off focus in lack of purpose and principle. And I don't want any of you to go through that. So many have been increasing and expanding and you've been having an amazing year. You started with your vision mapping, we're 10 months in, and some of you are over and above your vision mapping. Others are right on target. And Dr. Ben and I, we're so proud of you all for all that you've done and all the lives that you have literally saved and helped um, this year in 2024. But we still have November, December, and a couple of weeks left of October. So there's two and a half months left, and we want to finish up strong. Now, I know in Canada, you just celebrated Thanksgiving in the States. Thanksgiving is in about, I think, six weeks or it's the end of November, and then we all go into the Christmas and holiday season. So it's so important that we put our head down, we go after it the next two and a half months, like a starving dog going after a T-bone steak, to really push forward, to, 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 to press towards the mark, which... Uh, in the Greek, I think it means strain. It's like you're pressing your strain towards the mark to finish up this year strong in 2024. And then what I found is the, the biggest increase at the end or how you finish is how you're going to begin. How you finish the year is usually how you're going to begin your first quarter Um of the new year, of the new year. So you want to work your vision mapping. And I have recommended when you do your preparation in the evening and in the morning time to read some of your vision mapping. But now I'm recommending for y'all, since we're two and a half months out, to read most, which is going to take a little bit more time for some of you. I know it it does for me because of the number of pages, but you want to dive in more with the vision mapping. Even if you are able to read it all, read it now in the morning, in the evening to help you finish up the year strong. And remember, you know, what's gonna happen if you're, if you're doing curls, one twice a week, and then you don't do curls for two months, no discipline, you get off purpose with your with your with your weight training, and then you go back to the flab and not the muscle. It's the same thing in practice. We have to be committed, you have to be on purpose, you have to be in principle, and you have to stay on top as a leader. You're you're the leader. It's not that you're working for somebody. But you're literally the leader, so you have to, they're looking up to you in your office. Are you getting there before they do? Are you getting back from the break or the lunch before they do? 
Are you leading with a purpose, leading in principle, leading with the vision that you set with your team vision mapping meeting at the end of last year, beginning of this year, setting the tone and fulfilling the destiny that I personally believe, in my opinion, that God ordained and even anointed you all to have because I believe he gave you those ideas and gave you those thoughts to even put down in your computer um, to move forward and build your practice in 2024. So we want to make sure we're doing a pre proper preparation in the evening, proper preparation in the morning, that we're doing our reading, that we're doing our praying, that we're doing our praising, we're doing our worshiping, we're doing our exercising, we're on top of every team meeting, every team meeting, especially now, it's got to be on purpose. You can't just walk in and be scattered and do a team meeting. It's got to be on point. It's got to be efficient. It's got to be specific. It's got to be exact. Each team meeting, and again, depending on volume, some of you have two team meetings a week. Some of you have three. Some have one. Whatever it is, you have to be on point for your team meetings, especially these next two and a half months to finish up, to do the correct promotions, to do the correct inside-outside talks, lunch and learns, dinner talks, group reported findings, day ones, and extra training. Extra training. Why extra training? Because the holidays are coming up. And people that are team, they get off purpose, off focus. So when we have extra training, and it's going to take some extra time and sacrifice to do it, but that's going to keep the team on purpose to finish up, to help this dying, crying humanity that's subluxated, that needs you so badly because it's going to start up. It's already started up with all the different types of things that the pharmaceutical companies and so on and so forth are planting into the environment through social media, through TV, through whatever. We got to rise up, gang, and finish up this year strong in the power of God's might. And December 7th, life-changing, transformating, interactive, philosophical, specific, chiropractic, the science, art, and philosophy. We're going to cover it. It's going to be amazing. Use that C3 pass to let our fellow chiropractors know about it. They need your help to have them fulfill their destiny, number one, of knowing our Savior, more important than anything, and knowing and fulfilling their destiny and their purpose so that they can have prosperity, prosperity in every realm of their life, chiropractic, business, family, the whole package, C3. December 7th, remember, with God, all things are possible. Dr. Ben and I, we love you all and appreciate you all. You guys rock. You're the best. Speak to you soon. Have a blessed day.